Hello everyone. Today I am going to deal with the approaches of marketing as well as significance of marketing. There are various approaches to marketing as well as significance. So we are going to deal with both the concepts in this particular lecture. When we say approaches to marketing, the evolution of marketing as marketing is an as old as civilization itself, marketing goes much back into the history compared to other subjects. However, marketing has evolved continuous and thus marketing is simple yet very splendid. Men is un <clears throat> undeniably always trying to outshine others. And when it comes to selling, the concept is is not far from it. One thing that has remained common throughout the history is the fact that the field of marketing has always been driven by purpose rather than that methods. When we talk about the evolution of marketing and all, we can understand before when the people were not having money and all, were not employed properly and all, there was a system called as barter system where things was exchanged, were exchanged. and then as uh, things were being exchanged later on when money was being evolved into it, it they then uh, particularly selling or buying started. When we come to the approaches, there are a uh, uh, total of when we talk about the approaches, uh, modern and, and uh, traditional approach. There are four traditional approaches, whereas four uh, modern approaches. When it, we talk about the four traditional approaches, it was the uh, exchange of household abilities with the other goods. As I told you, there was a barter system. Then there is a, after the barter system was there as a traditional approach, soon after that, then when money was evolved, there was a product which was sold at a lower cost because everyone didn't have the money to go a, a pay and get the uh, things products or services then and it enhances next traditional and was uh, approach was enhancing that is focus on the sales increasing of sales more and more for with with the promotions so they tried to promote the product create awareness and then sell it it till down the uh, approach was not towards the satisfaction whether the customer or the consumer is satisfied or not the approach was towards just sell it by making the promotion then the fourth uh, traditional approach was again supplying the foods the products which suits to the customer's taste now till now again satisfaction is not there as per the taste and the change needs and preferences the traditional uh, approach of marketing was there towards what towards supplying the goods as per the needs right these were the four traditional approaches which were the trade approach where which was, we were doing as in exchanging of the goods as in barter system then we tried to sell it for the lower cost then again we emphasized and focused on selling more and more with by uh, adding an element of promotion into it and later on definitely depend the supply and the sale was there depending on the sales or the taste and the preferences of the then these are the four um, traditional approaches starting with the modern approach modern approach started with marketing ac activities should not harm the society if you're delivering a goods or services that should be towards the benefit of the society not including the harm that is you're cutting the trees or you're creating a pollution that way it should not be harm to the society then coming on to next modern approach building and keeping the customers relation that means making a good relationship relationship marketing came into focus as a second modern approach then coming on to links of marketing activities to the online world that means online marketing has started exploring Inc. so that more and more people can be attracted and marketed and sold in a fraction of seconds and minutes then last came came as emotional and psychological relationship Connecting your customers emotionally and psychologically so that they can be made as a loyal customer. These are the four modern approaches of marketing. Then in general, business organizations have realized that in order to be successful, the external element is highly challenging. So you have to be just coping up with the challenges and you have to be able to sustain in the market. Coming on to role and the significance of marketing, the role and the significance of marketing as marketing is one of the essential elements which contributes significantly for the success of the business, right? But largely thinking towards the satisfaction of the customers. So when we talk about why we why have a marketing department or why the benefits of marketing are there, what is the role of marketing or what is the need of it? So these are. 
marketing scripts the organization reputation definitely when reputation is is a keep on increasing we can have much expect more and more demand and capture much and much market area then it generates revenue yes marketing also generates revenue because it creates awareness and tries to capture the market to get more and more uh, buyers then uh, marketing makes organization dynamic because as per the updated changes taste preferences you have to keep on making changes in your product and then deliver it to the customers right like that it ensures healthy competition it also values the uh, business uh, value uh, accumulations as well as it creates competitive advantages because definitely if you are not competitive enough into the market as per the satisfaction of the customers you will be thrown out of the market you should be there able to compete your competitors your substitute products whatsoever it is then off they are also able to offer the satisfaction with the customer's requirements so as per the requirement the satisfaction the level should be there otherwise you cannot prevail longer time as well as the marketing also provides the employment opportunities because a lot of intermediaries are involved whether it's the wholesalers retailers agents or the other marketing managers so it definitely it gives much more employment opportunities right these in again in detail we can talk about when we say marketing scripts the organization reputation definitely with the help of reputation we are able to gain more and more market into it when we say gen we say generate revenue when we are able to generate revenue that means we are make able to get more and more customers the customers are accepting our products with its features price and the promotion mix all the products mix and all then it makes a dynamic definitely marketing makes a di organization dynamic because unless until you are dynamic you cannot provide or satisfy the customer it facilitates demand and product awareness yes definitely the awareness and the acceptance is created by the e marketing it offers employment opportunities without marketing is not a one person job it involves a lot of functions lot of strategies where people or the employees is or human resources are included and definitely it provides employment to all the human beings it ensures healthy competition yes marketing always ensures a healthy competition where you have to compete the per, the uh, companies held in a healthy way where there is no such kind of grudges and you have to promote it you have to uh, get uh, yourself accepted with a healthy way right with different strategies there should be a business value uh, acceleration into the uh, market why because in a wider term it not only includes economic values but the profit motive shareholders wealth that means all the stakeholders are directly in, in, indirectly involved in the marketing as well when we say offer is a satisfaction to the customer's requirement yes without the customer satisfaction definitely we cannot prevail so you have to keep on satisfying it's not one time we have satisfied next time the customer is going to be the same with the same thing as with the changing technologies changing advancement and all definitely their needs preferences keeps on changing so it creates competitive advantage definitely people who are able to compete in a competitive advantage with a competitive strategy is being formulated they will be able to sustain in the market for a long time that's all for today thank you